down, honey. Don't let our daughter see you were losing control like this. You are the director of the world's largest fashion brand. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. M M, Mom, D Dad, are you two are arguing? No, baby. We're just discussing company business. It's so, so low loud. Do you like anything? No, oh, oh. I do you guess. Do you want any stars in the sky? I will buy it and name it for you. We will talk later. Tessa, let's go. Let me take you shopping for some things. Bye, 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 Dad. Okay, see you, baby. Today, I'm going to tell you a story. The story about my life. I was born into a rich family. My dad is a professional designer in fashion. I have a strange illness and it causes me to constantly stutter. Everything was fine until one day. Ten years later. I have something special for you. What a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure you'll be excited. What is it, dad? T-A-D-D-A-A-A. Wow, what is this? These are the four children that your father and I adopted. I think this is the best way to help you be happier every day. But I, but I need never thought about this. I adopted them so you can talk more. It's shit's fine, dad. Any, any, any way, the the more the 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 me merrier. Okay, let's introduce and get to know each other. Ha have a nice, nice dad. Have a nice day, dad. He ha hello. My na name is is tease tease sa. Oh, hello. I'm Lana. So, we are the same age. Really? Sis, that's great. Yeah, it sounds good. WH, why does she keep looking at my clothes? I like your dress, but the ribbons are otaki. And what's with those shoes? Um, I, I shoes just... You look so cute with braids in this outfit, even though it's a little, um, weird. Ignore Lana. Right, she's just jealous. Re really? Oh, okay. I think I've to explore every corner of this house. I'm sure there will be lots of beautiful outfits. Boo but wait wait. Don't care about her. Oh okay. I, I will tech take you to my room. I'm so hungry. I, I will will take you to, to the kit kitchen first. Okay sis. I'm so happy you're a little sister. Okay. Let's go. The next day. Why are you cop copying me? What the hell? I think you're copying me, but it's cool. I know I've a great eye for fashion, so it's a compliment. Wa what? You're so so way weird. I did didn't care if Wawa Lana wanted to DR's dress like me. It just bugged me that she wa was lie lying a boo about it. Haha, -ha. I think you should reconsider your fashion taste. I didn't think you were that incompetent. Are you criticizing me? See, copying style. If mom and dad know this, they will be very disappointed in you. No, no. You're your fake. Ha ha. You're a stuttering failure. The night before, Tessa intentionally wore an ugly outfit. Lena saw and copied Tessa. Wow. La Lana, you look is so good. Yeah, right? I saw Gummy Hadid wearing this. You and me and Gigi, and I don't think that she would ever wear something this funny. The only thing funny here is the way you talk. Lana, apologize this minute. Oh, Dad, it's just harmless jokes between sisters, Dad. Whatever. Sorry, Tessa. Please, don't cry now. Okay, don't joke like that anymore. I have a meeting, so I have to go now. Enjoy. Bye-bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Sometimes later. La Lana, I just made some orange juice for you. Do you want to try it? Orange juice? Who needs you to do it for me? I think you will like like it. Here you go. Oh, oh my gosh. Why do you do that? I just wanted to do it for you. Why did you throw throw it away? Ha, huh, don't come close to me. I hate you. She's a witch. Stay away from me, you copycat. You are try trying to follow me. Ha, huh, don't think you can play for me. I won't be fooled by you again. But why did you did you treat me like that? Huh? Because you stutter. I hate you. You're a failure. You're so rude rude. Huh? Loser. You'll just have to ask for my forgiveness. WH what are you gonna do? Just wait and see, loser. In the school. Who is that bitch? How dare she run through me without saying hi to me? 
Looks like that girl is the child of a rich family. Rich? How rich? I want that girl to kneel at my feet. Really? She even stuttered. What? Really? Ha ha. Poor her. Surely her parents don't want a child like her. That's right. She should never have been born. I want to see what that girl is like. Then we'll wait for her in the cafeteria this afternoon. Anyway, you are always the best cheerleader. In the canteen. Ha <laughs> ha, how are you doing, TT's Tessa? Jews just leave me alone. What? I don't quite catch that. See, see. Sip it. Cha-chana. Don't you have have something else to do? Like bore people with with your d-dumb cheerleading moves? Oh, but I'm getting bored. And you're so anti turning. Did I do that right? Bahaha. That was perfect. The principal is coming here. You guys shouldn't argue anymore. What? You're gonna die. You won't be at peace, bitch. Thanks for sticking up for me. Of course, we sisters need to have each other's backs. I just wish she wasn't such a bee blind duck. Oh, she'll come around. I see that she started getting weird around you. Okay, I'll watch watch out for her. I'm sure she wants to harm you to win the challenge that dad has set. I also want to win but I don't want her to do these things to me. Don't pay attention to her and Chana anymore. Chana turned into Lana's evil minion. She followed her around like a shadow. Thanks. I hope they will let me go. A few days later. <laughs> what? Is that Lana crying? <laughs> Looks like Lana is crying. What happened to her? <laughs> Lana, are you cry crying? Hoo hoo, I failed Tessa. I'm sorry for everything I did. What's up to you? Who ma made you cry? Chenna, she stole my boyfriend. Oh my gosh. I thought you and her were best best friends. No. She helped me with everything because she had her own plans. WH what do you mean? She treats me well to get close to my boyfriend. I can't believe this happened to me. Really? I'm really sad right now. I treated you badly. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Maybe I shouldn't be here anymore. What the, the hell are you talking about? This is your home. This is is our home. No. I used to hate you and do everything to make you sad. I'll tell mom and dad that I'm leaving here. Shut up, Lana. Are you K-crazy? Tessa, thank you for your understanding. I'm just jealous of you. I really like your dressing style. No, I'm not sada about that. I just want us to be truly good sisters. Even though I, I can't help you. No, I don't deserve to be your sister. I don't deserve to be in this house. I deserve to be kicked out of here. You can't go anywhere. I want you here. We will never miss misunderstand each other again. Tessa, really? You really don't hate me, do you? No, I don't. I never I hate you. I just don't understand why you want to do that to me. Oh my gosh. You really make me feel very bad about myself. I'm really embarrassed. I... Everything will be okay. I do not blame you. I want you to stay. We will be good sisters. Hoo hoo. I don't know what to say anymore. I just thank you, Tessa. Thank you so much. All right. Don't worry. I'm happy to say see you. I like this feeling. We can sit sit next to each other and chat. Me too. Anyway, I'm sorry, Tessa. All right. It's okay. Let me get you or orange juice. Stop crying. Okay. Okay. I won't cry anymore. A few days later. Tessa, come down here. I prepared breakfast for you. Oh, okay. I'm come coming. We need to go to school too. I remember dad was about to have an important meeting to launch a new collection. That's right. Maybe mom and dad are having a hard time. It's been a while since I've seen them at home with us. They have been at the comp company for several days straight. Oh, right. Can you help me get the hat from dad's room? I'm busy making bread. Okay, okay. Let me get it for you. The next day. What? Where are my collection documents? Tessa, Lana, Alice, Mia, everyone come out here quickly. Wah, what happened, Dad? Tessa, where are my documents? What? Me? I, I don't, don't know. Me too. I'm not going into your room. So, why don't I see it in the room anymore? Dad, I don't know anything about that design book, but... But how? Last time... Tessa came into your room. Wah, what do? I'm sorry, Tessa. 
I didn't mean it like that, but you really went into his room. You asked me. Tessa, what did you do? Why did you do that? I don't know exactly what happened, but... Wow, what do you say? What do you mean I stole it? I didn't say you stole it. Shut up, Tessa. What the hell are you doing? Do you know how important it is? But I don't take it, Dad Daddy. But only you come into my room. Do you know that tomorrow I have to discuss it with my partners? There are many celebrities who will come to order designs. But Dad, I won't take it. I never want to do that. Dad, I also think that Tessa doesn't do that. So, who took it? Could it be you? Oh what? Not me. Tessa, please admit your mistake. If you admit your mistake now, Dad won't separate you. Do you want to blame me? Everything is clear. Why don't you believe me? Do you think I believe you? Lana saw it with her own eyes. Dad, please. I don't don't do that. Lana, you asked me to get the hat. Do you want to steal those designs to win me in the upcoming contest? No, I never wanted to to do that. It doesn't matter if, if you or I win. Ha, huh, so why are you doing this? Now I'm sure you do. You want to win me. You pretend to be nice to me to catch me off guard. Please. Stop slan slandering me. Don't talk too much anymore. Give it to me or I'll kick you out of this house. What? But I'm your biological daughter. Yet you dare do that to me. Okay. If you're so stubborn, get out of this house. Dad, are you re really chasing me away? You are no longer my child. Oh, oh my gosh. Don't let me see you again. What's the fuss, Dad? Mia, it's none of your business. Why are you so angry today? Tessa, why are you crying? She stole her dad's document and took the design from it. I saw her enter dad and mom's room. She wants to win me. Mia, please be believe me. Shut up and get out. Wait, Lena, so what did you go into that room for the other day? What? What the fuck are you saying? Mia, what did you just say? I saw Lana come into your room at midnight when I went to pee. Are you telling the truth? Yeah, I saw her. Lana, is Mia right? Shut up, Mia. Lana, I believe me Mia Mia is telling the truth. She is too young to lie. Lana, what is this? What are you doing in my room? Don't trust her, Dad. Trust me. I haven't entered that room yet. That notebook is on the table. I haven't touched it. What? How do you know it's on the, the table when you've never been in that room? Oh, um, I guess that. F Lana, you're lying. Dad, what do you mean? Lana, I thought you went in there to get something like a notebook. Everything is clear now. Don't pretend to be naive anymore. Tessa, I'm sorry, my princess. No, Dad, I didn't do anything. You're the one who needs to get out of here. Lana, I shouldn't have adopted you. Lana, why do, do you have to do that? Why do you all always want everything from me? Why do you do everything to make pee people hate me? Bro, cause I hate you. Bick, I hate everything of yours. Uh, but why? You don't deserve these things. Your parents are very rich, but you stutter, you loser. You, you're so, so rude. Shut up, Lana. How dare you say that to Tessa? Ah, uh, it's all because of you, Mia, bitch. If you hadn't told me, I could have gotten Tessa out of here. You're so stupid. How dare you say that? Give me back the design right now. Ha ha ha. You will never get it back. I burned it to ashes. I know you're hiding it somewhere in this house. Ha, uh, you will never see it. I will leave here. You can't leave here that easily. What are you doing? You must go to jail. You are a spoiled child. Fuck you. Why did you adopt me and then put me in jail? You deserve it. Don't touch me. Fuck, bitch, bro. You will regret it. Tessa, I'm sorry. I blame you wrong. I'm really sorry. I treated you so badly. I'm I'm okay dad, it's it's fine. Dad, so what do you think now? I really don't know what to do. Maybe Lana threw it away. Can can I help you? I want to draw out outfits with you. Really? Can I do 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 that? Why not? I'm so excited. Baby. Okay. So help me now. Hey bestie. I want to flame too? Sure but first. Join me. Okay. What were you saying? Oh never mind I forgot lol. Okay. How am I gonna tell her I got a boyfriend? They play for three hours. Hey, um. Hi, you don't seem too good. Oh, well, I have some news. Go on. 
I have a boyfriend. Oh, congratulations. I kind of liked her a lot. Want me to add him? Oh, yeah. Of course, go on. Thank you so much. Hi, babe. Who is she? She is my bestie. Uh, hi, I'm he. Hi. So, um, what do you guys want to play? Maybe we can play M. Let's play Da Hood. Very great idea, B. I. Oh, uh. Oh, nothing, lol. They play for hours. That was great, guys. Hey, I haven't gotten your name. Oh, um, it's Felix. Nice. Hey, Samantha, can I talk to you without Felix? Of course, I promises. It won't be long, babe. Okay. Hey, well. Don't be shy, tell me. I. I really liked since we became besties, but as soon as you got a BF, my heart broke, but as long as you are happy. I wow. But sorry, I don't like you back, but it's okay. I don't mind three. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. So. Oh, nothing, bub. Okay. Hey, I got to go buy lovebirds lol. Bye, bestie. Bye, Heath. I'm so sad. I really wished she liked me. I don't like Felix, he gives me bad vibes. I'm gonna ask to do face reveal, let's hope he's an old man. The next day. Morning, guys. Morning. Morning, babe, morning, bestie three. Guys, I think we should do a face reveal. Yes. Sure, I bet you're gonna look hot as fuck. See the smiley face. Okay, let's start me first. Cool. Really cute, I mean pretty. Babe, don't tell you are cheating on me. I promise I'm not. Okay, me. Hot as fuck. Nice. Okay, you next, Felix. Okay, this is me. I hot as fuck. Yeah, really nice weight. I saw that off Google. Roof. I, um, I lost it. Well, I trust him with all my heart. I think he's not. Thanks, babe. No problem, and Heath, let's talk in private. Okay. So. You kind of been acting wired. What's wrong? Oh, well, I faked about it that it was on Google. I just love you too much. I want you to be mine. I... I'm sorry, but I don't like you back, and don't moan, it's kinda... weird. I know you like it, let's get back. Hey, wanna playing MN2? Sure, I'm down. Of course. What's gotten into her? Oh, um, let's talk in private. Don't be too long, princess. Well, she kinda likes me. What? And you never told me. Yeah, sorry. Have you told her to stop? No. I'm scared if it will ruin our friendship. Oh, can you please tell her cause it's kinda annoying. Okay. Hey, Heath. Yes? Could you please stop? Me and my boyfriend don't like it. Yeah, stop. I mean it. Ugh, fine. Only for you. Okay, so what now? Maybe we should meet up? Great idea. I can't wait to see you, babe. And Heath idea. Me too. So where are we gonna meet? Do you guys live in the Uck? Yes. Um, hum. Okay, let's meet here, Asterisk. What time? I know midnight make it spicy. Oh my god, can you please stop? I freaking mean it. Babe, I never seen you like this. Oh. You're not listening to me, so stop now. Okay. At midnight. Hi, babe. Hugs. Hi. Where is Heath? <coughs> oh, there she is. Hey guys, by the way, I brought snacks. Yay, now we can watch a movie. They watch the movie. Samantha lays on Felix's lap. I. Mine. Wait, I know. What was that? Heath, stop. Sorry, it was scary. I am gonna talk to Felix in private. Um, okay? You know I love her with all my heart. I'll do anything for her so back off. But I'm her boyfriend. I don't care. I okay, okay, fine. Oh, you better leave her or you're dead. But she is my girlfriend, please, I'll let you have her, okay? But only for one day. Deal? Okay. So, how did it go? Great, babe. I'm Felix. What? I was eating chips I couldn't hear. She called me, babe, what's wrong? Oh, I'm um, nothing, lol. I'm tired, I'm gonna sleep by and let you to catch up and bestie things. Great idea. So, wanna? No way in a millions of years. Please, just a tiny bit. No, can you please stop my boyfriend has been acting wired. What is wrong? Start talking. Well, if he didn't let me spend time with you, I would kill him. You're better than this. Call me soon, okay? A uh, guy mucked up. I feel like a monster. I'm gonna go after her. <laughs> hey. What do you want? I'm really sorry what happened. I just got jewels. Well, I kinda like you. You do? But my boyfriend. 
It's okay, I think you wouldn't mind. So what happened? We got together sorry, but I will always love. You, I just lost feelings. I understand it's okay, but you can always cuddle me, if it's okay with you. Yep. Wait, I need to talk with Heath in private. Okay. I just wanted to say, thank you. For what? Always taking care of me. Well, wanna do it? I can't, I'm sorry. It's fine. They lived happily ever after and Felix got a girlfriend and think we're BFFs for life. Hey Juno, why hello Arlo? You sound alright to me. I don't know what Lev was talking about. Lev, what do you mean? He said that you're feeling left out. Oh, if you're feeling left out, it's alright. Just tell me. To be honest Arlo, I do feel out. It's like you only talk to me when it's about the boy or when you need to vent. We never do anything I want to do, or we never talk about what I would want to talk about. And I get it, you have so much on your mind. But have you ever stopped think about what's been going on in mine? You call me your best friends don't leave out one another, and I know it been distanced from you. So have Half of this is also my fault. Just next time, be sure to acknowledge my feelings and not just yours. Oh, I'm so sorry Juno. I didn't know you felt like that. I didn't realize how I made you feel. It's alright Arlo. I'm gonna go off again. Are you sure it's alright? Really it is. See you later Arlo. Bye. Juno has went offline. I feel so bad. This is all my fault. I'm just gonna go text Lev. How'd it go? He told me how he felt. But are you two good terms? I think so. Just, don't leave him out next time, okay? I'm sure you don't want this happening again. You're right. Juno is a good person, a great person even. I don't want to make him feel like he isn't. I'm sorry, Lev. Your apology should be towards Juno. I think I'm gonna sleep this off, you know, as much as I would want to keep talking about this. I think it's for the best we put this away for now. The truth comes out either way, whether you like it or not. I know, I know. And do me a favor, add Juno into the group chat tomorrow morning. I want him to feel better. Okay, also. Daphne and Odette kinda wanna meet Juno. So yeah, I will most definitely add him. Okay, good night Lev. Sweet dreams. Good night to you too. In the morning. Juno Juno. Hi there Arlo. Today is all about you and me. What do you mean? We are going to do anything you like. Is it because of what had happened yesterday? Yes, I know I have been a really horrible friend to you, and I want to make it up till you okay, starting off with anything you want to talk about. Oh, that's sweet of you to do, Arlo. So, what do you want to talk about? Honestly, let's see. Wait, uh, remember that cute? Arlo. Whoops, sorry. Has anyone ever told you how hyper you can be? Lots, haha. It's like one moment you're so quiet in your own personal bubble, then out of nowhere I just pop. Are you really describing me as a bubble. Oh, sorry. I think that's very cute of you, Juno. What else am I to you? A very special person. Sure, you have your, uh, moments, but deep down inside, I know you do care. Wait, can we act as if we don't know each other? And why is that? Just trust me on this. Okay, then. Hi there, I'm Arlo. I'm Juno. Why hello there, Juno? This sounds stupid. Shh. Stay in character. Okay, whatever you say. So, Juno, what's your hobbies? Well, I, uh, I play the piano. Really? Whoa, that's amazing. How long have you been playing? Since I was like 10. What's your favorite song to play on it? Steven Universe. That's amazing. Who's your favorite? I'd say Pearl. That's so cool. What's your favorite color? Brown. And why is that? I don't know, haha. -ha. What do you think my favorite color is? Periwinkle. Why? Because, when we first met and you didn't know how to start conversation, you said your favorite color was Periwinkle, and we started a conversation about colors, and now we've been best friends ever. Juno, you weren't supposed to break character. Not only that, it's your favorite color cause it reminds you of your favorite flower, forget-me-nots. Don't break character. Your favorite flowers is forget-me-nots because I jokingly asked you out with forget-me-nots. Oh, come on. And that day, we went to go watch a movie together, and we chose of Simon. That's been your favorite movie, and it hasn't changed. You're stupid, Juno. And you're amazing, Arlo. Anywho, Juno. Yes. I know this is so off-topic, but wanna chat on the group chat Lev and I made. There's two other people in there. Don't worry. I swear they're super nice, that way we can all introduce ourselves, plus I don't want to leave you out. Oh, I'd love to be in it. Okay, plus Lev has already added you. Hey Arlo. What's up? This might be my only chance to confess. If I end up getting another chance, that's just luck. Come on, I can do this. Juno. Arlo, do you like a... Juno, spill it. Do you like um... If this is the Muffin Man joke, I'm killing you. Yay, it was the Muffin Man joke. Shite. Of course it was. Now come on, let's go to the group chat. Okay. In the group chat. Finally. Guys, meet Juno. Hi, Juno. I was beginning to think you were a part of their imagination. Nope. I am 100% real as can be. Anyways, shall we introduce ourselves or... Didn't we already do that? Shh, just let them be. Well, then I'm Juno and I'm 17 years old. I'm Arlo and I'm 16 years old. And I'm Lev. 
16 turning 17 into weeks. Well, I'm Odette, 15. And I'm Daphne, 16. Nice to meet you all. So are we gonna play or what? Yay, I wanna play. Of course, the two idiots of the group wanna play. I'm no idiot. Arlo, you literally went the wrong way when I legit pointed which way. He did. Oh, shut up. So, are we gonna play? Let Juno pick the game. What? Why me? Because you have interesting games. Oh, well then, join me. They all playing a pyrophobia for <coughs> countless hours and become really good friends with one another. That sh was whack. Weren't you the one screaming? Well, nitrogen monoxide. I'm going off. Wait, Juno text me. Uh, okay. What is it? Earlier, it sounded like like, it wasn't the muffin joke. Oh, shy. Was it the muffin joke? Is there something you're keeping from me? No, of course not. Juno, is everything okay? Actually, Arlo. Oh, Lev's texting me. Right, it just had to be Lev. How fun. What's so wrong? Oh, nothing, never mind. I'm going to go off. Good night, Arlo. See you in the morning. Juno has went offline. Well then, I'll go text Lev now. 